All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back for another hardware tech review, taking a look at a USB foot pedal. What is it? It's literally just three big buttons that you smash with your feet. Why is it nice? Because these, these finger digits are usually attached to a keyboard. And when they're attached to a keyboard, it's kind of hard when you want to, like, type over here to have to, you know, click a button way over here in order to say, use your push to talk button, activate a screenshot, turn on and off recording, all of those things, which is why being able to use your feet and click on one of these bad boys tends to be kind of a nice deal. So this version is just a, it's just called the generic foot switch FS 2020 W edition. It's made by a company called PC sensor and they sell on their website a whole swath and a veritable cadre of different buttons that you can use for different purposes that are all variations of either a remote, a foot pedal, or multiple foot pedals tied into one plug. This particular model comes in two versions. You can get this one, which has a little plug that you actually have to physically plug it into your PC. And then there's also a Bluetooth version. Uh, it looks like it used to retail for around $100 but now they're selling it for between $36 and 42, which is actually not that bad for a pretty robust set of three foot pedals, especially when, I mean, this is basically the trifecta of foot pedals, right? You get not just one, not just two, but three that come with their own software so that you can hook this into whatever you want. So how is it for durability? Cause it, I mean, it is made of plastic. And the first question everyone asks is, if I stomp on this a little too hard, am I going to obliterate it into a million pieces? And the answer is, nah, probably not. This is actually pretty decent, thick, durable plastic. It's got some good reinforced ridges here. These pedals are pretty strong and the springs are sturdy, but you're not going to break your foot trying to get these to activate. And I've had access to foot pedals a lot over the years. And one thing I can tell you is that like, especially some of the ones I've bought for audio equipment, those things need you to smash it like you're the Hulk smashing Loki's face in the set of the Avengers. Like there is no way a mortal man can use some of those, but these ones are pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, that's there's really nothing more to say about it. This is literally just buttons for your feet. You can bind these to pretty much anything on your computer that hooks up to a keyboard button or a set of keyboard buttons, as you can just do advanced keyboard key bindings. You can hook it up to mouse buttons. You can hook it up to different gamepad buttons for like a generic gaming controller and all sorts of stuff. And it even lets you type in strings of messages if that's the source of functionality that you need. So there is one little interesting caveat for this. This is technically a device that is available for use on pretty much every system. We're talking Mac, PC, Linux, Android, mobile devices. Uh, it's actually all on this box here. The entire list is system support for Windows 2000, XP, 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Linux, Mac, and Android. Okay, so it doesn't work with iPhones and iOS devices, but it does work with Mac. Now there is one teensy weensy caveat here if I pop over to my computer screen real quick. And that is, this device really actually only has software support for Windows. And that's interesting because it actually allows you, as a workaround, you can set your key bindings to the actual device so that it's saved on the foot switch. And then you can plug this in as long as you've got an adapter or if you buy the Bluetooth version, it works on whatever but you can save your keys and your key bindings and your settings inside of this, like it was a portable controller. And then this will remember and use those settings no matter what you plug it into. It's different. It's not necessarily what I think a lot of people would necessarily expect out of the box when they're thinking about multi-platform support. And it would require you to have at least either access to or own your own Windows PC or maybe just, you know, install a separate uh, operating system if you're running Mac or if you're running Linux. So that is kind of a limiting factor here. So if you're trying to use this for more than PC, that is going to be kind of a hang up. So just pay attention to that. That might not work for you. 
Um, otherwise, I mean, this thing's got a bazillion different versions of this software. There's also another software that makes it just work directly for this when editing it that they walk you through on their product page. But so far, their software for handling key bindings for all of their different foot pedals is actually pretty nice. Let's hop in and take a look. So if I open up their software over here, it's literally just called foot switch. Can't miss it. Foot switch, use the foot switch software. And what this does is it automatically detects whatever you're using for a foot switch. And as you can see here in the sidebar, they have a lot of different switches. They even have some handheld keyboards, which are basically just a con remote control you plug in to your computer. But what we're looking for here today is the FS2020 series. And so this is split into several tabs. I can with the left key, you know, you just look directly at this. You can see which one you're key binding to. I like to use it for the tilde key because that's my push to talk. And sometimes I'm using my hands to draw because I do a lot of illustration work. I do a lot of logo work in my day to day. And I don't necessarily always want to stop doing that to talk to somebody. So it's nice to be able to hit my push to talk in order to chat with people online. Uh, I've also got it set to spacebar and to t and actually I have this set to backspace. So let's just go back. And then when I want to save this so that I can use it, and this will also save it to the device is I can hit save to key. Now, if you've already saved some settings to this device, you could hit clear to remove them and all that jazz. And so the other settings you've got is you can set it so that this always does left alt right alt, right control, left control, windows, command, uh, right windows, right shift, left shift. You can add special keys like the F keys and all pretty much anything that you can click, you can record so that you can set it up as a key binding. And actually after this, I'm planning on making one of these key bindings my screenshot button because there's certain games that I play where the strangest combination of keys are actually still used. And I'm looking at you Bethesda and UEA with your console commands and your tilde key stuff. I'm watching you. And so you can also do mouse buttons. You can do mouse movements as well. You can write in strings of messages so that when you hit a key binding, you'll send off a string of messages to like a chat window. You've got multimedia controls, which are actually kind of nifty. This ties into your computer's basic system settings in order to increase the volume, lower the volume, play the next song, mute it raise the volume, you know, stop, start, forward, back, fast forward, back a browse page. All of those basic kind of controls that you'd have on the top of your keyboard, you can put into this, this pedal, which makes it kind of nice that you can use this for more than just binding keyboard keys. So your mileage may vary so long as you can bind it to a set of keys, even if it's a ridiculous set that you can't use, you can then bind it to this keyboard. You can also do some of your bindings for the buttons on a controller. Up, down, left, right, buttons one through eight. It's not quite as advanced as I think a lot of people might want. Like you're not gonna replace a whole controller with three buttons, but it's there and it's more than I've seen a lot of different uh, foot pedals offer. Although it is kind of bare bones. Uh, some of their other products offer you the ability to do MIDI and macro control, but unfortunately, oh, actually this one, no, it does not support this one. So some of their other devices do can do offer you the ability to set up macro and MIDI controls, but this particular foot pedal is not one of them. This is just meant to be a three button, press it with your feet kind of deal. And so, I mean, this isn't the most fancy looking interface that I've ever seen, but it covers everything that I personally would need this to do. I just want this to be a key binding replacement for anything that I would use the keyboard for. There's nothing that you're going to plug into a PC that doesn't also have some kind of keyboard command related to it. I mean, even, even when I'm drawing in various drawing programs, even my Wacom tablet, there's a PC keyboard uh, equivalent to every button on there. Even touching stuff is my mouse. So if I can replace this, my keyboard and you know other stuff with one or two buttons, that's pretty nice. And this goes right up there with other similarly priced products that offer you between three and four different buttons. They might, I mean, some of them look a little snazzier, I won't lie, but they're a little bit more expensive, especially the foot pedals that are like four-way that are meant for gaming. So, I mean, 
If you're looking for a pretty affordable three button foot pedal solution, this one will do it for you. And it is the PC sensor web switch. It is the FS 2020W. There's also, if I go back onto the web, there's two of these. There's the FS 2020W. And then there's this one, which is the FS 2020BT, which I'm guessing stands for Bluetooth. And the W for this one probably stands for wire. I mean, pretty straightforward, actually. Um, and they're they're pretty inexpensive. Oh, okay, I guess this Bluetooth one's normally like closer to $200. So that's pretty, pretty discounted these days at $42. Not bad, honestly. Um, they also have, if you're curious, they've got a, like a bunch of these other products. There's foot switches for every possible purpose you could see under the sun. They even have a foot control keyboard is what this one's called. But you can pretty much get the gist for it. Their box is pretty straightforward. They tell you right on the box where to get the software. They tell you what it does. They don't hide the fact that if you want to use this on other devices, you're going to need to set up settings first on your Windows PC and then go back and plug it into another device. So it's a weird workaround, but for the most part, you can press buttons on it. It's decent quality build. It works. The software works. I've had no problems with it. I think it's definitely worthwhile. So if you're looking for a foot pedal, this might be up your alley. Otherwise, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have the links to all these product details in the video description below, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.